information tonight in a story we first brought you more than six months ago. We now have a report confirming behavioral problems at a Jefferson City Elementary School. Good evening. I'm Joey Parker. And I'm Marissa Holloway. ABC 17's Daniel Wynn was the first to talk to teachers and parents last year when reports of behavioral issues were out of control at Moreau Heights. And tonight, he has the details of that report. He joins us now live in our Jefferson City newsroom. Daniel? Yeah, Marissa, much of what parents and teachers told us is now confirmed. The 11-page report highlights a lack of leadership and communication and a real lack of trust at that school. A high staff turnover also blamed for behavioral issues. But the most surprising part of the report was me, for me was finding that discipline isn't any more out of control at Morrow Heights than it is at the other 12 elementary schools in the district, So, which means they all have the same problems or... Moreau isn't as bad as we first thought. There are things in the report that uh, are not pleasant to hear. Mostly unpleasant for district administrators who will be placing their fifth principal at Moreau Heights in seven years. Today's behavioral report pegged unsteady leadership as a major problem found by outside investigators. When you have a rate of turnover at the leadership level, particularly a principal shift, it undoubtedly will have an impact on, on the building and the programs and the systems and processes that are in place at that building. But demographic changes were also believed to contribute to the discipline issues. Moreau Heights, once a more affluent area, as the report says, has seen major changes compared to other schools in the district. Uh, some buildings have experienced more significant changes um, more rapidly than others. Um, Morrow Heights perhaps being one of those buildings. But Morrow Heights didn't have the most behavioral problems as recorded over the past two years. Out of the 12 elementary schools, it ranked third and fourth in the district. But this year, the school has had the most out-of-school suspensions. And the report did make several recommendations. One of those was retaining stronger, more stable leaders in the school. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Daniel Wynn, ABC 17 News. We have a link to the entire report on our website. You can just go to abc17news.com.